Tell me, tell me what it is. Tell me what it is. What is. Hold on. Hey everyone, it's your boy Matt Bando. We in there, we in there, we do that like swim. You already know the vibes. <laughs> As you can see by the title, this is the part two of what you need to bring to college. If you have seen the part one, you can skip through this intro to the timestamp of about one minute and 14 seconds, I think, or something like that. If you have not seen the part one of this video, I would suggest doing so because it will make a lot more sense as to why I just jump into a list of items I have in this video. The link will be in the bio, so don't forget to check the first video out for more items such as these ones listed in the video. Because I go to the university at Albany, I try to give information about things you may not be able to bring or items you can bring. However, if you do not go to UAlbany, it's fine. This video could still work for you. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, share, subscribe, comment, and yeah. But anyways, without further ado, these are items you will need to bring to college. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Now, on state and Indian, most of the quads, I mean, well, basically most of the quads, they have communal bathrooms. Now, there's two types of communal bathrooms. One is in suite communal bathrooms, and then others are like, like literal, like several suites use the same bathroom, which I hate. But that's a side point. So a lot of in state and Indian, for the most part, you have communal bathrooms inside your dorm. So at like your dorm, like your suite mates, the people that are in your dorms, they're able to use your that bathroom. So there's usually about between. Like there's two people for each, usually two people for each dorm. So if you're on a low rise, it's probably like six people, or my fault, five people using the same bathroom. Um, what I would suggest, you get yourself for number one, you get yourself shower slippers. Shower slippers are super important. Keep your feet clean. No one likes dirty feet. Yeah, facts. Get yourself some shower slippers. I think that would be super important for you to do. The one thing I would suggest is get yourself shower bins and shower a uh, shower caddy. A shower caddy will help you put your soap and uh, like rags and stuff like that. Don't forget to also bring your towels and your other things that you'll need to wash yourself, whether it's soap and stuff like that. You could get yourself some soap at Walmart because they're, it's really close. Walmart is literally five minutes away. So that's why I always say Walmart. It's a 12 bus, you go on the bus, you can take a ride, whatever. Definitely go check out getting yourself some like soap at Walmart. Yo, it's not that big of a deal. They'll probably have soap. But yeah, definitely go check that out. Just that you get yourself a hamper. Hampers are super, super important. They are super like, like they will save you a lot of time and energy. Some people, they just have their stuff in laundry bags and they just put their stuff in there. However, I have a hamper. Definitely get yourself a hamper. I think it's worth the investment. Oh, just put your clothes in there and then when you want to like take them out you take them out put them in a the laundry bag and take them to the laundry so you could do that or you could just put it in the laundry bag whatever but definitely get yourself a hamper i think that's super important it's where you put your dirty clothes in so go check that out also like i said on dormify and a couple of these places you might be able to find yourself a hamper or stuff like that where you can put your clothes in and you'll save yourself money. So definitely go check out them if I look for packs where you can find that if you haven't done this already. I would also suggest getting yourself hangers. Hangers are super important. Some people forget that they need hangers. You could never have enough hangers. Definitely get yourself some hangers because you're going to need to put them in the closet and stuff and you might not have enough space inside your, like, inside your drawers to put your clothes. So definitely get yourself some hangers and you'll be able to help help yourself and do a lot of things. So boom, check that out. What I would also suggest is that you get yourself like a door frame or a door rack. What that does is like put it over your door and it just hangs on your door. So now you could put stuff on your door. That will save you, that will also give you a little bit more space so where you could put your coats and stuff like that. So also check that out. That's super important for you. You definitely want to get yourself some school supplies. Now, I wouldn't suggest going all out and buying like a lot of items. You don't need a lot of like writing and stuff like that. You get yourself a couple of pens, get yourself a couple of pencils, uh, probably a calculator. You're most likely going to need like a really good calculator and a laptop, whether it's a MacBook or a HP or whatever. 
get yourself a laptop. Your mo really get you. you should have a laptop on you. So definitely go buy that. Um, it's super important for me personally. I use a MacBook. I love my MacBook. I'm an Apple fanatic, as you can see. I have everything Apple. Get yourself a MacBook. They're a really good product. So you get you could definitely probably find a good deal because they're having back to school sales. I think. So definitely go check that out. So don't forget to bring a couple of folders and maybe a couple of notebooks. You could probably get yourself a five-star notebook and you'll be all right. If you like to take notes, you could probably get more, but you don't want to get too much stuff. You don't need a lot of stuff. Like you're in college. So a lot of this stuff will probably be on the computer. So definitely go check that out. You will also want to get yourself a dry erase board or a planner. Dry erase boards and planners are super important. They're super, 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 super super important like literally like if you don't have that you should really get by that you can probably find yourself one at home depot target or wherever like i said over here however really i would suggest getting one because you're gonna need a planner when a lot of people did what they tend to do their freshman year is do not plan that was my mistake that was a lot of people's mistakes and it ended up biting you in your butt later on so definitely get yourself a planner it will help you out to organize yourself and keep yourself on track and on schedule so planner and schedule planner whatever whatever you could do like any big dry erase board or something like that definitely go check that out inside your dorms or inside your suites i should say inside your suites they already have garbage bins they have garbage bins where you can put your garbage and you recycle however what i did personally was i got myself two bins i got myself a garbage bin and a recycle bin because i don't want to always constantly be going outside of my room to go throw out the garbage so i would really suggest getting yourself one and also buy yourself garbage bags so you could put your you could put your garbage and stuff in there and then close it and throw it out a lot of times what happens is people tend to leave their garbage inside the sweet garbage bins and it makes a mess it makes the sweet itself be a mess so i would suggest just getting bags and a garbage bin and just throwing it out constantly it might cost you look well it might cost you a little bit extra money however you're keeping your suite clean and safe and you're also staying away from conflict so definitely get yourself at least a garbage bin or two if you like me I, I really like to keep myself organized and clean i would also like to say that you should definitely get yourself laundry bags and laundry detergent i think i said laundry bags earlier in the video however get yourself some laundry detergent what i would suggest is getting yourself pods tide pods or whatever pods you could get they really save space instead of you having that big laundry i have both however i'm really falling in love with pods now they're really simple and easy to use so that when you have a lot of items you can just throw the pods in and you'll be good so definitely use to, you should probably buy yourself some pods and some softener and maybe some bleach if you need to if you have white and you need to use it so definitely go check that out but uh, this one is kind of su a suggestion but i feel like this is really a need for me personally this came in clutch so many times you should probably get yourself a shopping cart shopping carts are so grannyish and old but however they are super important and they're super useful a lot of times you might find yourself trying to get water or something like that trying to bring water from walmart and you're going to need to carry it and if you live on indian this is a sad case if you live on indian what's going to happen is you're going to have to travel from one side of campus to the other side of campus carrying water unless you want to pay for uber what you can do is get yourself a, a shopping cart and then put the water on the cart and now you just carrying the shopping cart and i will save you some energy and time so definitely go try to invest in one of those i think they're really good to have in general not even just for water but you could put a lot of things in there whether it's your laundry and stuff like that you could definitely use that the next thing that i think is really important for you to get is cleaning materials now in the bathrooms they clean the bathrooms constantly at least once a week However, some people are dirty. Some people, they don't know how, some people don't know how to keep clean. That, that happens. Some people come from a different place to learn and it's not their fault. However, what I would suggest for me personally is getting yourself at least a can of Lysol and wipes. Lysol and wipes, those are two things that you can get. They'll really help you. You don't need a lot of them, but definitely I would suggest getting at least Lysol to at least like like spray the toilet or whatever you already 
for your stuff you already get paper towels they give you paper towels every single week once they come to clean so you won't necessarily need to get so many paper towels and i mean well my foot toilet papers they give you toilet papers every time every week when they clean however you don't need to buy toilet paper you don't need to do that however what i would suggest is probably get yourself some paper towels and that will help you out to wash, like keep your hand clean or just wipe up stuff. So definitely go check that out. My final suggestion would be to get yourself a chest. Chests are super, super important. I feel like you should always have one, whether it's, lo it's a lockable chest or it's like a luxury chest, whatever it is. For me, I kind of use my chest as a stepping stool because I have a high bed. So I have like a like mini chest where I could like step on it and then step onto my bed. Like I could jump onto my bed, but sometimes you might want to like not jump, use the energy and just use a stepping stool. So definitely probably go check that out. Get yourself at least a chest to put your put extra stuff in. You can lock it up. If you want to get an advanced chest, you could get a lock on it, combination, whatever it is. But I think it's a chest is super important. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Definitely leave a like, comment, and also please subscribe. I will be dropping a lot of content like this. And I'll be dropping a lot of UA vlogs and content where you guys can see what how my life is as a sophomore on campus. Um, definitely check that out. Um, explore my journey. If you wanna check out some other videos, please go look at the videos that I posted before. I have a couple videos like 10 things you should know before going into college and stuff like that. Why I mentioned a couple of these stuff that I had in this video and a couple more stuff when you're gonna be in your freshman year. So definitely go check that out. And also watch out for my other videos that I'll be posting about my dorm tour and other things like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I appreciate you for watching. I'm gonna catch you Crazy. Wanna take this? Gotta pay me. Got too much junk. That's crazy. Shake that shit.